So can you tell me a little bit about your project um, with XR Stories? I guess to start with, what you wanted to set out to explore, but then also where did that lead you and what did you create through the project? The work that we've made in the past, we have always kind of created a story um, and then let the audience experience it, like telling them a story. And I think the idea with um, working with XR and game engines was where it came from really in computer games was was the idea that what would it be like for a audience member to control a character within our stories or um yeah what what how does that affect narrative uh when um a character chooses to do something that um isn't preset in a kind of standard way uh, and how can we tell stories with giving the audience agency in our pieces really um, and that's where it kind of came about the idea of starting to work with game engines and starting to work with with video games uh, as a as a kind of theatrical tool yeah i think we were interested in adding interactivity to our work um because we always prescribe stories and visuals to our audience and that gives us a lot of control which is great mm. but um, I think involving the audience you know it's becoming more of a thing and people really enjoy interacting with pieces so we wanted to get into that and games engines seem to be the best way to to do that and that's why um yeah we applied to XR stories and then we made three pieces didn't we Davey do you mm -hmm. want us to talk about that John yeah go on I'd like you to introduce each of those because they're quite different and unique in their own ways yeah so we made three well they are prototypes um, mm -hmm. um one is called Lucy and that is a combination of our um paper craft modeling together with a game um, so we created a, a paper diorama um, and then the, the game in it was about controlling a vampire who ran through the, you know, through the church and s jumps over the church and is, you know, haunted by people who want to stake her. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and it's all set in a, in, a, in a sort of beautiful paper diorama. So that's where we combined, again, our old um, paper craft techniques with video gaming. And that was the first video game we've ever made. Then we created another prototype um, called uh, Shelf Life and we uh, took the idea of a super plumber man, right Davy? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, no copyright. <laughs> And, and we, we had this idea that we wanted someone to be able to control a Super Mario character in, and let them run wild in their living room sort of thing. So we made it a projection mapped video game where we set up a few shelves and, you know, put sort of domestic things on the shelf. And then someone could control a, a character, the, the Super Plumber Man, to jump over books and, and, you know, action figures and fight action figures and stuff like that and then the third one which we are now developing with where we're actually getting interest for, for commissions now um, was called pinball wall and it was the idea of uh, making a, a street arcade so projecting a video game onto the facade of a building so making a massive video game essentially for someone to control the pinballs that you get in a in a, in, in a pinball and for these uh, balls to bounce off actual architectural features mm. on the um, the facade of a building. So yeah, those those were the three the three prototypes that came out of our first XR stories support. 